morning all today we are going to continue our next topic that is queue so now in the queue we are going to see different operation of the queue then here array rep representation of queue then queue as edt then the types of queue in that we are having the circular queue priority queue and after that we are going to see the different application of queue in that we are having the two application categorizing the data and the simulation of queue now we'll start now the first uh, we'll understand what is the queue okay again the like a stack the queue is also abstract data structure the thing that makes queue different from the stack is that queue is open at both end now in the stack we have seen that we are ele inserting element and the relating element from only one side okay and that uh, in the stack we have used a single pointer and the name which was given uh, was the top but now here uh, we are using a uh, two different pointers and one more difference is what in the queue it follows the principle of the first in first out okay means what whatever the elements which we are inserting first that element we are deleting first the data item inserted first also access first the data is inserted into queue through the one end and deleted from the other end now here uh, you can see the real time example now suppose there is a single lane road and here wherever uh, the your first vehicle enter okay uh, which uh, again uh, exist firstly now here uh, this is the uh, actual representation uh, whenever we are writing in program at that times with the help of these diagrams we can easily understand which conditions which we are going to write now uh, here in the queue we are using two pointers the first pointer which is known as the front pointer and second one is known as the rear pointer we are inserting the data from the rear side and we are removing the data from the front side now in the queue here uh, we are uh, calling insertion operation as the NQ operation and the deletion operations, which is as the DQ. In the stack, we have seen the same concept, that is, but the names are different. In the stack, we have seen push for insertion and the pop for the deletion. Now, in the queue, in queue for the insertion and the DQ for the deletion. Now, these are the different operation of the queue, that is NQ. Here, addition of element, okay. Then the DQ, remove the element from the front side. Then the is empty again. Here, we, uh, these uh, three functions are same as that of the our stack. That is, is empty. Now, again, we are checking whether the whenever you are inserting something at that time or deleting something, then you are checking whether it is empty. Again, the same uh, is full. That is, Q is full or not. Okay, and the peak to get the value of front of the queue without removing it. Okay, now here we are having a different types of queue. Now it is categorized into four types. First one is the simple queue, then the circular queue, priority queue, and the double ended queue. Now in the simple queue, this insertion takes place at the here from the rear side. And the removal occurs at the front side. And it strictly follows the principle of the first in last out. Okay. Now here this is the, the diagram of the queue is full. Okay. In that we are having different elements. Now here uh, uh, this is the front end. Okay. From this end we are removing the, uh, our element. Now here when the queue is full and when uh, suppose you have not removed any element at that time the front is pointing to the first element and the rear which is pointing to the last element now in the circular queue now here suppose now see here now uh, suppose you just you assume that we have removed one element okay at that time here front which is incremented by the one okay similar as that of in the stack okay and now in this it is having a just opposite operation now in the stack we have seen Whenever you, you are removing element at that time, your top is decremented. But here, whenever you are removing element at that time, your front is incremented because here we are using two pointers and we are removing elements from the front end and we are inserting element from the rear end. Okay. Now, when 
our stack is empty at that time both rear and front which are pointing to the minus one suppose if you consider the indexing here is the zero one two three okay when the our this q is empty in this case your rear, rear and the front pointer both are pointing to the minus one in that case you can say that the q is empty but whenever you are inserting any element okay at that time here suppose just now you will assume that just you have inserted a single element in that case here front and the rear which is pointing to the index zero then suppose you have inserted one element now here front is not changing and its position until you are removing this 55 or any number then only your rear is incrementing means what here Whenever there is any change at that time, the front and rear, which is incrementing. Then suppose again, you have inserted one element. Again, the front is, again, rear is uh, uh, incrementing. Then the here, when it is reaches at, at its last element, suppose if you consider the size of this is the uh, four. Okay, means what? Suppose the here rear, which is reaches to the maximum minus one, at that time, further insertion is not possible. Incoing is not possible. Suppose now you assume that the you have deleted this 55. Okay. Then here <coughs> it is now indexing at this or it is pointing at the 1. Okay. Now just you consider that again if you want to insert something. Okay. But now here your rear is pointing to maximum minus 1. Here though it is a empty it is not possible to insert our data this is the drawback of the simple queue and this drawback which is overcome in the circular queue in the circular queue it is possible to insert now here what is the difference in the circular queue the last elements point to the first element making the circular link okay just small modifications which we are doing suppose now you consider the size is five okay and now here rare Okay, how you are writing in normal case, how you are writing the rare, rare is equal to maximum minus one. But now here we are changing what rare plus one mod size. Okay, means what now here rare plus one that is the four plus one divided by zero means now your next pointing is what zero. This is the main advantage of the circular that is the programming of the circular a queue and the simple queue is a similar this is a small change just we are making in the program in the priority queue uh, it is a special type of queue in which the each element is associated with the priority okay and now highest now there are the two types ascending order the and the descending order the highest priority uh, which may be the given depending upon the type for ascending or the descending now this is the function for the NQ for a simple okay again the same thing whenever you want to insert then what you are checking overflow condition suppose rare is equal to size minus one that is maximum size minus one in that case what you are saying it is the overflow else then here again suppose front is equal to minus one and rear is equal to minus one means whatever here q is empty so first what you are doing you are bringing both pointer is equal to zero and then here you are inserting the value otherwise what, what happened here you are having some values two three elements are there in this case it is just what first you are uh, incrementing that is rare now you always remember that okay in whenever you are incurring the operation at that times you are inserting your elements from the rear side then again for the dq operation in the dq operation again you are checking what first that is the front is equal to minus one suppose this condition and in this case the deletion is not possible so now here again we are returning if rare uh, front is equal to rare is equal to minus one okay is equal to then here what just we are bringing means it is at the last position. So then what you are doing, okay, you are making front is equal to rear is equal to minus one. Okay, again the same. Here uh, we are, suppose both conditions are false, then you are coming in the next condition that is the print element to be deleted and the queue. Now here see, whenever you are dequeuing at that times you are using a front and whenever you are in queuing at that time you are using the rear end. Now, this is the function for a circular queue. Just small change we have made. That is here, just we have changed this condition. Okay. Now, here, this condition. 
that is the what you can say that is front is equal to minus one and this one just what we have made that is if rare plus one uh, uh, that is percentage max is equal to front in this case what q is full now this q full condition just we have made a small change and we are inserting the element by using this condition okay then the, again the similar things uh, which we are doing for the dq in the dq here again first you are checking the condition of empty or not suppose it is uh, front is equal to minus one rare is equal to minus one in this case the dq operation is not possible suppose the front is equal to rare then you are bringing it is minus one and then here you are removing the element now these are the different applications of the q First is the task scheduling, resource allocation, batch processing, message buffering, event handling, and traffic management. Now, the remaining topic we'll see in the next lecture. Now, for, uh, for today's lecture, this is Ina. Uh, thank you. Good day.